Hey guys, this is John Swampler. We're back in the booth today. And today uh, I'm gonna be explaining what stencils I use, where I buy my blanks, and what I'm gonna be painting. Today I'm gonna be painting this color shift crawl. And I got this blank, it's called a Sonic Side Blank. I got it from uh, James Ganode over at Lure Build. And so that's what we're gonna be painting. And that's what it's gonna look like after clear coat. Check out those eyes too. I got those reptile eyes over at Jimmy's site too. And uh, here's what I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna be doing the uh, the crawl. Here's the crawl stencil that I'm gonna be using. It's the lower bill crawl stencil. That's how I'm gonna do my crawls, crawl lines. And I got this uh, creature feature stencil over at Anarchy Models. But if you want it faster, there's another website called, uh, I think it's called Cedar Run. They carry these stencils as well. You can order off there and get them faster. And uh, this is how I'm going to be doing the uh, the bottom shell pieces like you see in this crawl here. I'm going to be doing the shell pieces with this little stencil that I got from uh, Russ Allen. Very good stencil. If you want any uh, good quality stencils, uh, hit up uh, hit up uh, Russ Allen at uh, Insane Custom Stencils. You can hit up uh, Jimmy over at Lower Bill for these stencils. I use a lot of people's stencils. I use uh, Anarchy Models. I use uh, Insane Custom Stencils. I use uh, lower build stencils. I use uh, I use Jess from Wetmar Farm stencils. He's really got some good quality stencils too. And uh, on the next, on the third video, I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna be doing a a, a fire tiger pattern. And I got this stencil at a, a Louisville uh, Fish and LLC. They're on Facebook. They got really good quality stencils. And uh, I'm gonna be doing a, a video on this uh, shad here. It's called a uh, Bushido shad. And uh, where you can get these at, you can buy these blanks at a uh, alternative lowers and uh, on the second video after the shad video uploads and stuff i'm gonna be doing a thread fin i'll be doing 10 of these but i ain't gonna be doing 10 in the video i'm gonna do one and because i know a lot of you guys in the groups been want me to do a a shad so i figured i'll do a, that blue thread fin shad for you and uh, also i just want to let you know before we get started i have my own personal uh my own personal business page it's called uh bad boy uh, custom lowers i'll uh I'll put the description uh, description below where I get my stencils and my paint and stuff, and how I got my color shift crawl to uh, really pop like like you see in this crawl. I use Turbo Dork. I use the radium, and I use the afterburner, and I use the a little bit of this uh, other uh, Turbo Dork. It's called a uh, uh, blue raspberry, and it really pops it. So, what I already did. Let me explain what I done. I sprayed my bait white, opaque white in the wiki colors here then i went back over that after it dried after i heat set it and all i went back over that with the pearl white and it's in high gold and acrylics it's the uh, air desert pearl fine and uh and after i did my uh, pearl white i heat set it real good and i went back over that i mixed me up some uvls clear gloss and i got it right here and I mix it. It looks like that. I put the uh, I put the U I put the UBLS in here. I mix it with a reducer. I use uh, the 411, and uh, it distends it and breaks it down where you can do like a good blend and stuff. So I spray it on before before I do anything, and after after it dries and stuff, after I do all my stencil work, I spray it again, let it dry overnight. Then I then I clear coat it. And uh, this is the eyes I'll be using too. They're uh, reptile eyes, and like I said, I got them over at Lower Build. They carry the six, tens, and eights, whatever you might be looking for that fits your bait really well. So I'm gonna put my stuff up real quick, guys, and we'll get started. Okay, guys, we're back, and uh, I loaded up some black uh, carbon. It looks like this right here, carbon and high gold acrylics. And uh, Frank Pontoon over at uh, Clark's Custom Hill, we're good friends and stuff, and uh, he inspired me on this crawl. He done some something similar to this. And I kind of took his idea and uh, I asked permission and he said he don't mind for me doing it. So I just did my own spin on it because I really like it because I painted this crawl actually for me because I like the uh, smallmouth fish, bass fish with it and stuff because this is a good running blank. So I load up uh, some black in my gun and we're going to take this uh, crawl uh, stencil that I got off Jimmy over at Lure Build and I'm going to spray my black on it.
real lightly. And that turned out really nice. Let me heat set this real fast. Okay, so we're going to the other side. Let me line it up. That should be good right there. I want it kind of dark where the color shift the, will activate the black real good. And that turned out really nice, exactly what I wanted. I had to lay it down the flat because when I had it in my helping hands, it seemed like it was off the bait a little bit, so I just laid it down. So I'm gonna put it back in my helping hands real fast. What I'm gonna do, guys, is uh, spray everything in black. I'm gonna do my cross shell. I'm gonna darken up the top. I'm gonna lay my creature feature effect in. We're gonna do the bottom shells. Then after I do everything like that, I'm gonna do uh, all my color shift throughout the, uh, the stencil work and stuff like that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little bit of black and go over the back here real fast. Down the crown of the bait. Darken the eyes in real fast. Okay. I'm gonna clean my needle real fast. Yeah, I'm back. I had a little bit of dry tip, and I while, while I was cleaning my needle, uh, my creature feature stencil was a little dirty, so I went ahead and uh, mopped it down and stuff where I can see through this uh, stencil because I use this stencil quite a bit, and uh, where the, the holes are so tiny, it gets clogged up in paint, and I had to scrub it down. So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna uh, take this creature feature and uh, do my uh, texture throughout the crawl in it. Get around the mouth a little bit and stuff. Looking at it, eyeballing it, see if I need any more uh, details here and there in it, and I do. I'm just building up my colors, building up my texture. I'm doing some light, some dark. Trying to make it look real realistic as I can. So, okay, so I like that. So I think we'll go to the other side. Do the same thing. Always, guys, when you're doing one side, always wipe your stencils down because you don't want to put wet paint on dry paint because it'll smear it and look awful. I'm trying to make this video as short as I can, but sometimes guys, you can't make them short because when you're doing detail work and stuff, sometimes it's, it gets a little uh, tedious and you gotta take your time because I learned that if you rush your baits, you, 
you're gonna really mess them up real quick. And you know, art takes time to do, you know? It's a work in progress. I'm gonna get some on this math a little bit. I'm just doing everything in dark because I want that color shift to, to pop it, you know? That's what really makes these uh, color shift crawls stand out. Because you gotta have the black, you know, to activate the turbo to work. So now what we're gonna do, I did all my detail work. So now what we're gonna do, I'm gonna take this stencil that I got off uh, Russ Allen over at Insane Custom Stencils. It come with, I think, the crawl wheel number three. And uh, it had a bunch of different wheels in it. And it had some little uh, little shell pieces in it where you can do your upper uh, your upper shells and your lower shells. And uh, I have to give you a shot out on this, Russ. I love this stencil. It's really good for crawl bottom shells. And I'll show you what I mean. I'll start out with the, the biggest one. I line it up. I'm trying to go off, off the bottom of the shell pieces. I go real light. And you'll see the factory in a minute. You see how it does like a V in it, like an indention. So I'll just go up a step, get it centered. Do one more. Should be good. I'll do one down at the bottom real quick. Okay, that's good. I'm gonna add a little bit of creature feature in it. Little dots here and there. I got that one got the next step okay so now what I did is I got all my detail work done I'm gonna spray some rain on top maybe the sides give me just one second we're spraying turbo door get around the eyes real good I washed my gun out. We'll go to the next color. Okay, so now what we done, uh, I loaded up some uh, blue raspberry. I'm just going to do the cross shells, and uh, this beta will be done. Go to the other side. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Like I said, if you guys are interested in my lowers, hit up my page on Facebook. I'll uh, put the description box in below where it'll take you to my page. I got all my lowers on there, my prices. You can directly order off the site. If you're interested in my lures, if you're a fan of my work, go check it out. Page really looks really nice.
Okay, guys, I'm back. Uh, we're gonna put some eyes in. I'm gonna put these reptile eyes in, and they're glass eyes. And uh, I got these these eyes at uh, LowerBell.com. So what I'm gonna do is uh, glue these eyes in, and I'm off camera. I'm gonna spray the uh, UVLS gloss over it to uh, lock my colors in and stuff. I'll do it off camera. I don't wanna drag this video out longer than it has to be. So I'm just gonna put some super glue in its eyes. If I get some out. There Let it bite. Then we'll do the other side. That's what it looks like. Actually, I like the second curl that I did a lot, lot better. I love it actually. Um, so the other, the other curl, I probably won't be uh, taking a picture of that. I'll probably take a picture of this as my YouTube video. It's really nice. I really like how it turned out. Doing the other side, putting eyes in. Turned out really good. We take the tape off and let you look at the bill, all it together. Alright guys, this is what it looks like. There's the bottom shells. You can see already, without clear coat, it's shifting already. I can't believe it. That turbo door really does really well and uh, over black, it sure does. Well, like I said guys, I'll catch you next time. On the next video, we'll be doing the, uh, the swim bait and stuff. We're doing a thread fin. So, I'm gonna get out of here guys. Thanks for watching, bye.